Sup guys, it's Jacob here. Thank you, first and foremost, for clicking on my video. Secondly, this video is proudly brought to you by Manscaped. Now Manscaped do have a complete range of products on their website, but their most recent product, and the one that I'm using at the moment, is this, the Lawnmower 4.0. So not only is the packaging impressive, but apparently it's a whole new balls game. And here it is now, the latest addition to Manscaped's incredible selection of male grooming products. I've been using the products for a good couple of weeks now. I love them. There's no way I'd be making this video if I didn't. Manscaped use ceramic blades with skin safe technology, which means there's absolutely no risk of nicks or cuts. In fact, you could probably do it blindfolded. Not only that, but you can do it in the shower also. It's completely 100% waterproof and it's even got an LED light. So power or no power, you can still get the job done. For those wondering, is it a tool just for the downstairs area? No, no it's not. It's actually good for your entire body, including your face. And for anyone wondering, that's the length. But if that's too short for you, there are four different trimmer guard options, which means four different lengths, which means if you really wanted to, you could probably even draw a picture. It looks good, it's waterproof, it's rechargeable with a 90 minute charge, and it's only one of the incredible selection of products on the manscaped.com website. So head over there, check out www.manscaped.com, use code JACOB20, that's J-A-C-B-D-2-0, for 20% off your entire order. Join myself, your other favorite YouTubers, and over two million men worldwide happily using these products. Once again, head down into the description box below, click the link, check out the entire range of products, use my discount code, happy days. Enjoy the video guys, and peace out. Hey what's up you guys, how we doing? And welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be really easy, okay? So I'm talking to those people out there who are thinking about doing something, who quite possibly have just come across my channel or other channels on YouTube or other videos on YouTube talking about gyno. You're 99% sure that you are a sufferer, you have the finances available and you want to do something about it. Do these three things first. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Google gynecomastia surgeon in your local area. So let's say you live in New York, gyno surgeon, gynecomastia surgeon, New York. Let's say you live in Sydney, gynecomastia surgeon, Sydney. The reason I say that is because there are so many surgeons out there that, you know, prior to actually doing a bit of research, prior to actually ringing one up or booking a consultation, your head's going to be absolutely swimming. You don't know which is the best one, you don't know where to go. Well, I'm going to say right here, right now, that whatever major city you're in or whatever major city you're near, there's going to be, there's going to be a selection of surgeons that can do this surgery. What you're going to have to do then is work your way through them. So I'm going to make this really easy. Focus on where you live. If you can, if there's no surgeons there or if you're really remote, you may have to travel interstate, you may have to travel to another country. It is what it is. But if you can, focus on the surgeons in your area. Now once you have a list of possible surgeons, I would want to, you know, whittle that down to maybe five or three. And the way that you're going to do that is by talking to them. And the way that you're going to do that is by, like I said, doing a bit of research, looking up the ones in your area, going to the website associated with that surgeon, possibly ringing the practice, just getting a bit of a vibe, a bit of a vibe. Now, if you put a tick next to that one, you say that's a possible, all good. Hopefully you can have three to five, you know, ticks, which means three to five possible surgeons. Following that, you're gonna to wanna to book a consult. And uh, look, a consult is gonna cost, it is what it is. You're gonna be paying upwards of five, six, seven, even 10 grand for the surgery. So a small cost, it might be $80, might be 100 bucks, might be even 150. But that's a very, very small cost when it comes to giving you the confidence and the peace of mind you need when going into a surgery like this. So, you book a consult, whether you've got one booked, three booked, or five booked. Look, one's fine. As long as you've done that initial digging, that initial research, get that initial first impression, hey, even if you do choose just one surgeon to actually go in and have a consult with, it's all good. You've done some research, you know what I mean? You're not just trying to shoot in the dark. So you get in there and you sit down and you begin your consultation. Well, the first thing that I'd be asking for, and don't feel awkward about this whatsoever, is some examples, some previous examples of that surgeon's work. And if the surgeon's been in the industry for long enough, he's going to have done like, you know, upwards of 500, 1,000 gyno surgeries. What that means is that he should have a portfolio of results. Have a look through that. Try and find a case very similar to yours. Discuss it with the surgeon. Ask him about you know, his techniques. Ask him about previous patients. Um, ask him about horror stories. Ask him about what the perfect scenario is. 
Ask questions is basically what I'm saying. Go in there for a consult, you're paying for it, so the conversation and the way that it rolls, what you talk about should be in your hands. That's what I believe. You might have a 15 minute consult, you might have a 30 minute consult. Go in there with some you know, questions already prepared and you're gonna put yourself in the best position to leave that office feeling good. Following that, it's gonna be completely up to you. Do you wanna go through with the surgery or not? I can safely say, I can safely say guys that regardless of the recovery that I went through, the fact that I can actually look in the mirror now and simply not have any inkling of these feelings that I used to feel every single time I looked in the mirror, saw these two nipples staring back at me, it's all gone, completely gone. Now look, I did say at the start that you should focus on surgeons in your area, but that really is only in these major big cities where you do have a selection. If not, I know exactly how you feel. I was living in one of the most remote places in the entire world, actually, called Alice Springs. Certainly wasn't a gyno surgeon there, so I had to travel. I did have to travel, but I got my recommendation off of a fellow YouTuber. I don't recommend you do that. That's why I've never actually recommended my surgeon directly on my YouTube channel. People have messaged me. I know you get what you pay for. And that's another thing I'll mention. If this surgery does seem, you know, too good to be true, if it seems just too cheap, there's a reason for that. What the reason is, I don't know. I'm just saying that there probably will be a reason for that. So be aware. Certainly be aware. That's what I'm trying to do with this video. I'm trying to raise awareness, but I don't want to put you off. I don't want to scare anyone. So, and uh, look, if you've actually seen my recovery and you saw how bad it was and you still want to get the surgery done, then I've got no worries about scaring you. That's for sure. But look, let's recap. Okay. So you want to find a surgeon. You're going to have to do some research. You book a consult, prepare yourself before you go in there with some questions, ask to see his portfolio of results. You're gonna leave that consult, regardless of whether you actually choose that surgeon to go with or not, you wanna leave that consult feeling like, I mean, you got your money's worth at the end of the day. And then when you leave that surgeon, it's gonna be completely up to you. Continue researching. You know, I've, I've heard of guys who have, you know, had a first consult and then life gets in the way, you know, the finances might not be there and they just forget about it, but they don't forget about it. And so they put it to the back of their mind until they get into a position in life that allows them to, to do something about it. In which case they start researching it, they might write in gyno recovery or gyno surgery on YouTube and come across my videos. That's how it happens, man. So do some research, book a consult, prepare yourself for that consult, and finally arm yourself with that information, uh, make a decision, make an educated decision, and a confident decision on which surgeon you choose to go with. Now, there are other videos about gyno in my video library talking about uh, what you do next. So you book a surgeon, sweet. What are you gonna do pre-surgery in those months or weeks leading up to surgery to prepare yourself as best as possible to go into that surgery and, and get a great result. Now there's another video actually talking about what to do post-surgery. So there's a lot of information on this topic on my channel. After this video, I'm gonna shoot one titled My Horror Story <laughs> about my recovery. So the whole entire recovery took, you know, months and years actually, but there were certain parts of the recovery that were worse than others. And I'm gonna discuss them because if I don't do it now, I never will. I want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to be out there on the internet to help, you know, guys like you with, with this issue. Of gynecomastia. Fuck. We got handed the shit deal. We got handed the short straw, didn't we guys? Tell you what, it's not fair. But at the end of the day, you can do something about it. So guys, thank you for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.